this is actually the right hip and so it's kind of nice you can open this up and see the actual hip joint and so if we take that out of there this is basically our hip joint we got this big ball and this is the neck and then this is the femur this is your big leg bone so Floyd snapped that ball right off and one of the big problems with this avascular necrosis or osteonecrosis is all those blood vessels funnel through that little channel to this big ball well if you sever them first off it's a high impact energy it does a lot of damage you basically sever all those blood vessels and now the body's got to try to heal all that back together and unfortunately when you snap the whole ball off there's a high risk of you know not getting the full blood supply back to it and then what happens and this is what's happened in Floyd's case some of the ball dies in his case quite a bit it's almost half of the whole ball is now dead and then it just becomes instead of being nice and smooth and round now it's really irregular and that just wears and grinds in there it's kind of like sandpaper now and as time goes on the whole thing just kind of wears down and falls apart creates a lot of pain and disability This is um, my shoulder, and now the ball is completely gone. So the kid set that as the desktop. That's pretty nice. That's funny. <laughs> so you had a, the same type of problem, but with your shoulder joint. Yeah. So this problem typically occurs in the hip joint and the shoulder joint, mainly because both of them have that big ball and this little stock that feeds it. And when you sever that, you got problems. And then when you replace it, you is that a, becomes a stainless steel ball or do you yeah so the main two types of surgeries are kind of this hip resurfacing surgery they shave this down a bit and they kind of press fit a cap on it the standard one is they will cut that whole part off and then they nail down a spike with another ball that sticks up there and it kind of replaces it that's that's the standard people do real well with that but yeah, so you know that's that's my shoulder. It's not too much unlike the hip. You typically have this nice round ball, and as time gone has gone on, that ball is just flattened out, and it's almost just like a stick, you know. If you look at it from the top, you know, there's no more ball to it. So the nice smooth ball is now just flattened out. There's all these bone spurs, and that's all the arthritis. It's just kind of a mess. And then here's Floyd's um, original fracture. So you can see right through there, he snapped the ball off. Here's a nice comparison. So here's the normal ball. And now you can see this one is just snapped off. And see, typically that was set up higher. See, this sticks straight up like an ice cream cone. It's definitely lower, yeah. yeah. Here are the pins going up into, here's the ball, it's just a faint outline that they're doing during surgery. So this gives the surgeon a, a look to see and make sure his pins are all in the right place. So that was done during the surgery. Can you maybe go back to the one where it was the comparison? I'll try to get a shot of you holding that bone. I actually leave that in the shot. Yeah, so it's just a really bad injury is the bottom line with this thing. And now here is um, Oh, you can see that. So here are, this is actually the second set of pins that were placed in there. Here's where the problem first became apparent um, in November of 04 when Floyd started having more hip pain. Now we can see this big cyst, basically this big eaten out cavity. And also it's kind of hard without the comparison, but now this ball that used to stick up here is now flattened out. So you can kind of compare the two. 
And so that's kind of the flattening. Let me hold that up there again. So the idea is it's almost like the ice cream cone is, the ice cream is now melting on the cone. And then after that, he had surgery. And this is kind of our end result, where we took the pins out. They did multiple drilling. You can kind of see these channels. So you drill channels up into this ball to try to restore some blood flow. But it doesn't cure anything. What you're trying to do is stabilize this big mess here and try to slow down the, the normal collapse that occurs. And so this is just really regular. There's this big eaten out cavity. It's basically this whole top half of the ball yeah. is dead. This is that is, like decay? Is that yeah, jagged like that? Yeah, exactly. Decayed and necrotic, we call it basically dead bone. There's uh, some good MRI pictures. Oh, look at that. So this one here is probably that the is best. Wild. Because you have a comparison, so this is a normal hip. Look at that. Normal Holy ball. Cow. Look at this. And now on this side, the, the ball and everything is just gone. That's amazing, the contrast. Yeah. Um, can you do that one more time? Sorry. You can, yeah, I mean, the contrast in that is it's not even... This is the best picture that really just shows you. Everybody can look at this and just see that that's just not right. That's yeah. got to be painful. I mean, yeah. like, holy cow. I mean, that's so well formed over here, and then it's just nothing. It's just kind of like, uh, yeah. that's amazing. I got one other one that might have a good shot. Yeah, and this is just a different, little different technique, basically the same thing. And oh, yeah, you can, can, can you zoom in on that again? Yeah, let's see, where is it? It's this one up here. There we go. So same thing, perfectly nice, smooth round ball, normal hip. And now this thing's just shot.